cost test complete looking good let's see this let's see this Ooh, nice wait wasn't i supposed to do something today i have a recording episode i'm late bro what kind of show is this she's late when is she yeah, supposed to get here Oh god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh no. I hope you guys aren't waiting too long. Too long? Too long? <laughs> you know, do you realize what time we got here? <laughs> Six in the morning! And no refreshments. I miss school for this. Hello, my name is Hoku, and welcome back to the Venture to Lohane's podcast, and uh, uh, nice to see you, YouTube people. Hi! Nice to hear from you guys, podcast people. And joining me today, I have some special friends! <laughs> you guys remember them? I'm Gary. <laughs> I'm Gary. And we're the outcasts. Yeah! <laughs> Jerry and Perry from the Outcasts. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, it's not like we had anything better to do. To be honest, we really didn't. Not even except to building a map. Okay, but that's <laughs> lame. No one wants to see that. Did you just throw my phone? <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you tell me not to grab things. No, you can grab okay, things. I out. just said be careful because if you like talk with your hands, you just end up grabbing so much stuff. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm Italian. So are we. <laughs> I mean me. But we also have ADHD, so we speak with hand gestures. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Today's the second recording on this podcast studio. I'm so excited. A lot of people were telling me that they were very interested in our setup. I'm glad you guys liked it. I'm glad you guys liked it. I'm glad to finally be able to have friends to share it with. You think we're friends? No, not you. <laughs> Just shun. You think shun. we're friends? Oh, we never were friends. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, in, <laughs> in today's episode, we're going to be talking about creative medias and everything else. Uh, if you guys remember from the previous, not this recent previous, but a previous episode where... I got to join in on their set. We talked about, uh, Perry talked about being an artist and all that, and I was kind of curious about how they... I lagged out so bad it affected my brain. <laughs> I was curious about what, how they get their inspiration. What gets them going? Jerry, Jerry does content creating on uh, like have you seen his tiktoks what got him inspired into doing that let's talk about that Whee! look look I'm just trying to decide who I want to ask this question first and have them start. I got you. I got you. Perry, heads or, ta uh, heads or tails? Heads. Screens heads. Ah, damn it. <laughs> so what were you flipping for? Who you start with. Am I starting with Perry then? No. Um, the screen was heads. It was the back of the phone. So am I starting with you? Here's my question for you, Jerry, who doesn't like questions. Jake from State Farm. Okay. So you get into you get into built map buildings. Uh, I saw recently that you guys are holding contests for 
And that all sounds like creative work. What inspired that? So, Freedom! originally, it's my turn, Perry. <laughs> what? You can't tell me the answer's wrong. It wasn't actually boredom. So, originally, um, how our, the whole contest thing started, we gotta go back to what got us to make the contest. Back in 2020, um, or not 2020, 2021, we started, uh, learning how to outline. And... It, um, it originally got us really far. Uh, it was like a learning aspect for us. So later into the year, around, I'd say Christmas time, we decided to start a league. In doing so, we started Halloween. opening. Oh, it was beginning of Halloween. Yeah, because I had the pumpkin oh, okay. decorations. Oh, okay, yeah. So, we started a league, and originally, the, our first contest, I asked all of my Outline Academy... Where'd you go? I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I originally asked all of my Outline Academy teachers to be a contestant. So, that took off. So, we're actually into round... Uh, contest round two for it right now. Fancy. Um, yeah. Um, this coming Friday is our semifinals. So this, this con round they have to try. Hmm? No, I was gonna ask these contests of yours. Do you guys do places where you guys shout out information? Yeah. So our contest is a way of exposure. You know, you make your outline. If you manage to win the League of Outliners, you get more exposure. You become an official league member, and you earn the title. Of, you can claim the title of an elite outliner because you beat sixteen or uh, fifteen other outliners, right? So, originally, my plan was to just do this for fun. You know, I didn't really man think of kicking it off, but we recently gained. We recently just surpassed 150 members. Nice. In our oh, club. we did. You sound surprised. Yeah. You and don't tell in, me things anymore. And then you mentioned about us building, or building maps. So, me and Perry. We've we've done everything together since twenty twenty since like the beginning of twenty twenty one when we first met. <clears throat> so yeah. a lot of this you'll be hearing the same thing. Um we we formed a build team with one other friend of with one ever with one other longtime friend of ours, Laku. And he we're the three founders of the build team outcasts. And <laughs> we've been You good? <laughs> I'm not. I keep accidentally picking up stuff. And when I finally don't pick something up, I accidentally use the camera. I just wanted to do this. <laughs> I wish I was paying no. attention. <laughs> <laughs> well, you probably caught it on camera. Points at camera subtly. <laughs> camera, tell me you got it. Sound people, tell me you got it. There's nobody back there. Got it. It's just a mirror. Booty, 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 <laughs> ragged in the world. Okay. Um, but we were we were interested in doing. Where'd you go? <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> I could get out from under the bed. I can't move. Give me a second. I'm stuck. I became a ghost. I became one with everything. Well, that's lame. Um, but... Where'd you come from? 
Magic. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you... <laughs> <laughs> but we originally got it um, inspired of participating in contests when we watched the carnival contest and then the stranded contest. So I made a promise to Perry. Next contest, we're participating. So we started building maps for contests right in the, instead of clans. Fancy. Which is our previous business outside of di of dorm work. We I never did dorm work. It was all done. But and then for creative or for co creating content, online content like videos and stuff. I got inspired by Mav, Mav in VR. Um, <laughs> he was actually the first RecTuber that I actually watched a full video through. So he uh, inspired me to do a, a lot of these things. And that's about it. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Sometimes it doesn't even have to be that extravagant for certain aspects of what you do. Attention is now turned to Perry. Spotlight's on you. <laughs> Bing, bang, <laughs> What about you? I know you're a creative person. Who, who are the people, or what, what events, what anything inspired gave you your creative spark? Besides boredom. <laughs> this one. One day, all right, I like had barely known this guy at the time. This was like what year, year and a half ago. Depends what you're talking about. Are you eating? All right, well, I like. No. <laughs> Don't eat on my set. Ah. Ah. Liquids only. Uh. You hear that? <laughs> Liquids only. Oh, I guess no more phones. That's not even a food. Goodbye, Mike. <laughs> Goodbye, plant. Is a food if you try hard enough. Goodbye, plant number two. <laughs> Bye, note board. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Anyway, anyway. Oh. <laughs> I hold the mic for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so Jerry at the time I like barely knew had only ran into him a few times. Um, invited him to my dorm just to see what he was doing, and he comes in and immediately asks <laughs> me about my dorm room, which I had, like, fully decorated at the time. And he goes in, and he's like, oh, how much ink is this? And I was like, oh, let me check. And it was, like, 94 or something. I had barely... <laughs> Boom mic! Boom mic! <laughs> ah, not again! <laughs> no! Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Um, but yeah, so he started going off on me and got pissed about my dorm because it was taking up a lot of ink for barely anything. We managed to get the dorm ink very little, but um, afterward I realized maybe I should actually learn how to use a maker pen. Why? And did you learn it? I have, actually. I've done a lot of math since then. Nice. There, he won't bother you anymore. As long as you keep knocking him <laughs> one. <laughs> Alright. On to the next question. <laughs> actually, I don't think I can because you both of you had basically answered the next question in your first answer. I think right now is a good time to call it into a break because I don't know how long that went. <laughs> and there's a lot of funny bits that I kind of want to keep in, so this first half is not very fluent. But, uh... And, and, really quickly, since we're going on a break, Hydrated ice cream, make sure you drink water. 
Yes, make sure you hydrate and drink water. And I'll see you guys after this break. Make sure you get snacks. Hi. That you you I see you. I know who, you know who you are. Hey. Make sure you hey. remember to take your you. pants off the next time you sit on the toilet. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode so far. If you guys haven't heard, we are now ambassadors for Ray's energy drink. Do go into our affiliated link in our link tree and go ahead and use our code B O K Bravo Oscar Kilo twenty one and get fifteen percent off on your next purchase. And for those of you who want to start podcasting and don't know where to start, I highly recommend um, downloading Anchor on Google on the Google Play Store. I think they have it on the Apple iStore Store as well. You can even record. Uh, straight off of your laptop and computer at home if you by going to anchor.fm. Remember, it's free, easy tools, and they even do the hard work like sharing your, your podcast to other platforms. But download anchor.fm. Link will be in our link tree and in the description of the video. Same thing with our race. It's going to be in our link tree and in the description of the video, and I hope you guys are having a good day. So, you've decided to come back. Things are different now. As you can see, we are doing another portion of the episode. Very D&D themed. I hope you enjoy. I'm a fairy! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, transitional period. That was kind of fun. Um, YouTube yeah. people. <laughs> YouTube people. Podcast people. People of the general <laughs> interwebs. Are you okay? I almost fell. Welcome back from the break, Tom. Tom, did you wash your hands? Did you? Tom, Tom drink water. Get out. You drink water. Tom, you know you need to wash your hands after drink. Uh, you you know you need to wash your hands after using the bathroom, and you didn't do it. You never do. I can smell your hands from here. Get your nasty, crusty, dusty fingers out of here, and hit that like button after you washed your hands. Yeah, hit the like button. Subscribe. Um. Favorite, cheer, do whatever you, you do on whatever site you're listening on or watching on. Do everything. Yay! Yeah. I got a cheer. And you oh. see like that. You, you you click cheer, you click the thumbs up and there, just like that. I don't know how to do any of that. What's left? Of, C uh, of the second half of this portion, we are doing D&D. &D. That's right, you heard it. As the uh, transitional back is, we have dressed up! We are in D&D-inspired &D outfits. Uh, what am I wearing? I've oh, always wanted to cosplay. Yeah, me too. I've always wanted to cosplay. cosplay. So, starting this second half of the portion... Um, I have a question for the the people who own their D and D characters. Do they have lore, and are they okay with answering lore questions? Yes, they do. Hey, so we're gonna have a very interesting get to know the D and D characters. We're gonna start off basic. What are the characters' names? And uh, what does it represent them? Or why did you choose your character's name? We're going to go clockwise, starting left from host. So, Perry. Um, okay. You can choose whatever D&D um, &D character I'm, you want, but one only. Yeah, I will go with my current character because I love this character. The, the one I brought up to you guys earlier. So, my character's name is Vex. They are a shapeshifter. I like the pun. And I found it on the name generator. 
<laughs> Fair enough. Um, Jerry. My character is a warforged. Why do you look like a zombie and why are you looking up? Because I reclined uh, in my chair. It's at the point of the episode in which I reclined in my chair. Oh, okay. <laughs> and my controllers are on my legs. Ah, okay. <laughs> so it's just going to look funny from now on. <laughs> I can do that too. Yeah. <laughs> so, my character is a Warforged. His name... Ironically, is Ironwood because because of the plating he wears, it's made fully. He's made fully out of iron. He has joints of wood, and his name is basically a play on words for his, how he's built. Nice. Woo. Uh, also, its na- so his strong. name was a uh, Ruby reference. A movie reference. Yes, I noticed that. Next a question. Ruby. No, Ruby. Ruby. Oh, Ruby. R W B Y. Yeah, I, 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 I really like that. Too. Um, my character I introduced to the party uh, is Ace Olotel. Um, no metagaming. Metagaming's not allowed. I know Perry takes D&D yeah, yeah, yeah. very no, seriously. No, no, no. But... I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Ace is a uh, Ace is a homebrewed Simic hybrid character. Uh, Ace Olotel is a play on word for the animal that she is magically infused with for Axolotl. Uh, <gasps> yeah, she's she's so homebrewed that I even did character artwork of her, so she is skin textured and drawn. Oh, oh, I did I did artwork actually finished today of my character. Really? Are you okay if I share it on screen? Yeah, yeah, of Heck course. Yeah. I'll send you it afterwards. Yeah, I, I'll share mine too. Image for image, just for the sake that everyone, you shared, I share. I can't draw, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> basically basically uh as the joke uh between the party members uh jerry's warforge is ba- uh bastion from overwatch the one that was supposed yeah. to be doing the omni war fell asleep woke up in modern time ish yes and the fact that half the party now doesn't like vex <laughs> <laughs> There's a there's you invited me a player. Um this is not part of the lineup question, but may I ask for everyone's um alignment? Neutral evil. <laughs> neutral good. I'm just new uh neutral. <laughs> There, there's no good or evil about Ace. And she's just neutral. She's just there. This is not a lineup question. But may I ask what everyone's background is? Criminal! Criminal! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Mine's an acolyte. <laughs> Nerd! Mine is, is, is a used to be Christian. Basically, <laughs> used to be Christian. All right, so on to the next question that does come up to um, some of our lineup questions is, what is your character's relationship with magic? Are they scared of it? Wish to know more about it, or indifferent to it? Um, Doesn't understand okay, so... it. Uh, so I am playing a druid, so they kind of use magic. I'm also a shapeshifter, so I can shift between animals and humanoid forms, which is why I did it. Uh, technically, it's a druid, even though it's a thief. <laughs> right, right, right. That That's an interesting way to play a druid. I can't, though. I just... 
I just realized my character can't be confused about it. Doesn't understand it, just knows I can do this. Considering the fact that he's a paladin warforged, his backstory was he fought in the Holy War and to and rested and just took a century rest. Is that S E N T R Y or century as in centuries as hundred years? Hundred years. Ah. Yeah. He took a hundred year nap and woke up in more I'd say modern times, but at the same time modern for D and D. Right, right, right. So he can't be he can't under uh, he he understands the concept of it doesn't know how to use it because he fought along celestials right who uses holy magic in their in their fights fair enough fair enough uh for ace uh. excuse me ace is <laughs> ace, ace ace has a very bad history with magic so they are very very afraid of it but at the same time wish to know more about it so it's a morbid curiosity type of thing for her uh what is may i ask what everyone's class is or well you already said druid you i said paladin you haven't said yours oh uh ace is a criminal rogue Lay. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Lame, I, but I, um, homebrewed and playing in uh, the Ravenloft. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Playing in. Li- <laughs> Shush your nugget. <laughs> Just for the heck of it. Just for the heck of it. You mentioned that Ace fear basically fears magic. Mm-hmm. You should when they reach level three. And gain an art roguish archetype. You should choose arcane trickster. Oh, don't worry. I have a whole thing planned out. I have all twenty levels planned out for Ace. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It, it, like I said, it, I wrote heavy, heavy lore all the way up until um, she either dies or uh, she levels up to max. That there's nothing I can do with her anymore. And that's usually where I'm going to kill the character and make a new one. <laughs> if, 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 and that's a big if our DM can. Can what? And kill off our characters. Oh. <laughs> that's like, that was like a big open statement, and I'm like, if our oh, DM okay. can what? <laughs> really quickly, small tangent. So you mentioned that yours is homebrewed. Mine is actually also a bit homebrewed. Mm. Um, so the world that it's created from is a mix of Eberron and Avatar The Last Airbender. was an idea from uh, my campaign where it was originally made, and I brought it over for gaming with you guys. So I'm an airbender. Hey, mine's is homebrewed, but it's not. Mine is mine is heavily homebrewed, but it stays true to character. Um, if you guys play long enough, you'll notice some 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 things that are not known for Cymix, but um, are is heavily inspired by the magic that Ace is, or the animal Ace is infused with. So a lot of things are very uh, homebrewed for her in terms of living adaptations and stuff like that. I just want to mention that branch looks like a bunny got stuck in it and died. I can't see it. What branch you're looking at? <laughs> oh my god! I hate you so much. <laughs> Harry made it. I didn't make that one. Harry made it. <laughs> All right. But, um. The like the most 
the homebrew I can say about it is the fact that I just made it a thing. Oh yeah, his is like stupid strong. To to the D and D players out there, you know what a tank is. It's a good thing. It's it's a good. He he is so overpowered, but it's a good thing too because he plays it, so it's not that overpowered. But I had to share that story because that that story will forever stick with me on how OP his character is, but how not OP the player is. And it's just it's just funny. I like I love that story. Alright. Okay, so continuing with your questions. Okay, so with the questions The day I get to live that down is the day I die. Yeah, basically. The, well, the day Ironwood dies. You don't live that down. <laughs> uh, the next question... No, you still bring it up even when Ironwood dies. It's to tell people how not to play an overpowered character. Anyway! Anyway! <laughs> Anyways. Who, uh, currently, who is your your uh, character's biggest rival? Whether it be a homebrewed, OC'd thing or like an actual character uh, party member. Oh. Uh, in case you guys can't tell because it's uh, it might be a bit dark. Uh, Jeremy and Perry are pointing at each other. They're double pointing at Listen, each other. The, shif the shifter decided <laughs> to disrespect someone's privacy. In my defense, I asked many questions. No one gave me answers. I gave you answers. It's not my fault you decided not to listen to them. <laughs> I uh, gave you a full description of what I know. I was just I about to curious. ask. Okay. I was just about to ask what started the rivalry, and then they just went in, and I know exactly what happened. Um. Okay, okay, so for context, my character, like I mentioned, neutral evil, just kind of goes off of my whims, doesn't matter what the, um, consequences are. This one was being all mysterious and stuff. And this one being ace, <laughs> for the audio listeners. This was being all mysterious and very, very sarcastic, so I asked around at the party, like, if they'd seen anything, if they noticed. Anything strange? I was suspicious of them for a while because I did not know what to know to think about them. This one gave me some answers on like things that they noticed was very open. My curiosity through the roof. <laughs> what did I do? I decided to find out. Yeah, scared the uh, scared the life out of my character so much so she took five points of damage falling into a river. So, uh, <laughs> for context of my character and what they wear, they are heavily, heavily clothed because in the D&D world that we play in currently, Simex are not welcomed, not, are very not welcomed, and there's few people that uh, support them, try to protect them, and a lot of people don't like them, so Simex were forced into hiding. And in order to walk around, you have to hide your seventh being. So that's why Ace is tends to wear a lot of heavy, heavy clothes. So she wears like a pretty long cloak. It hides everything about her. She wears long sleeves, a face mask that hides, tries, attempts to hide her skin color because she is an unnatural color blue. <laughs> but, uh. It's the rare blue axle. Model. It is the rare blue axolotl. Okay, I'm so I glad you know that. Oh, I'm so I'm so happy you know. That. Um, it's he actually heavily inspired by a sea dragon as well, the real life sea dragons. Um, not the seahorse style, but like this really nice uh water glider kind of sea dragon. No, 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 no. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'll put on pictures oh, for references for those of you who don't know what we're talking about. And for you, uh, you guys listening audio-wise, yeah, we'll find a... Picture a show. We'll have our pictures show. Yeah. Find a, safe, find a safe place to pull over and check out our YouTube channel. And uh, 
check out the images that we're, we'll put up. But uh, watch those hands. You also, yeah. You can also put them in the show notes. Uh, Anchor doesn't have show notes like those. I can't put images in show Spotify notes. Spotify does. Huh? Spotify does. Yeah, but I'm not using Spotify. Continue though. Yep. So, um, so Perry and Jerry just told who their biggest rivals are at the moment, and it's themselves. Uh, for Ace, because of the guild she's in, it's three other guilds that she has big rival, uh, big rivals with. The biggest one being the Simic Combine. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, so her biggest rival is the Simon Combine. They're like beefing with each other silently. Like, look at that <laughs> hair in the wild. We're watching the the. Oh, they're fine. They're fine. Oh, he's angry. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he angry. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I want to say thank you to the to the outcast for joining us uh, in today's episode. And if you guys have other topics that you guys want to want us to talk about or questions you guys want us to answer, use the hashtags Kalohi Topics and uh, uh, question the Kalohis on Twitter, Instagram, uh, in the comments of YouTube. Um, send in voice messages from on Anchor, and we'll we'll answer those too in our in our in our podcast. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the outcasts on theirs. Links to theirs in the <laughs> links to their accounts in in the description below. And I hope you guys have a good morning, a good night, and a good day. Later. Oh, he's. <laughs>